This is the Iron Max dethatching and scarifying electric corded unit. There's few of them out there like this, and so far as I could tell, they're all about the same, and I think you'd be happy with any of them. If you want a little bit more details, hang out for a bit. This is the new family member, Marcy. The chocolate lab we picked up from my cousin while we were visiting uh, Washington, seeing my brother retire from the army. Thank you, Trav, for your service. Yeah, special forces guy. Did a lot more stuff than I did. Anyway, so this is the Iron Max Dethatcher Scarifier, <clears throat> 13 inch. I'm not gonna do too much on it. I mean, it's completely different. I haven't seen anyone do a review on this one, but it's a little bit cheaper than the, uh, the Sun Joe or the uh, Green Max, whatever one is, uh, is out there. And from what I can tell, it's functionally the same thing, other than this is like orange. And uh, at the time I bought this, this is way cheaper. I picked this up from Walmart for 120 bucks. I have zero affiliation as usual with this. Um, paid for it with my own money. All right, all right, go ahead, go Marcy. And um, yeah, it seemed to do just a fine job. I, I suppose it'd probably do just about as good as uh, whatever one has this uh, scare fire and dethatcher. Although right now, these things cost 210 bucks, like almost a 100% increase. I, who wouldn't have saw this coming, um, you know, with, the way things are going right now, just printing money out of nowhere. But you know, anyway, that's besides the point. So I'm pretty happy with this. I used it on the Hell Strip Part Two. I used the uh, Scare Fire. Did I use this? Yeah, the Scare Fire on that, and the Hell Strip Part One. I used the Dethatcher, and I, I roughed it up really good. And this was uh, about a month or so, maybe a month and a half, almost two months ago, maybe now. And um, this has a comparison, and I can't tell a difference. And I didn't do anything up here as far as the thatching, and this looks just as good as, as those two. So I'm not even certain that uh, I'm really going to do it too often anymore because I don't, I don't bag anyway. And uh, when, you, when you mulch, a lot of that stuff is going to fall back. Well, all of it's going to fall back into the, uh, the canopy of the, of the uh, grass and uh, build up you know, dead material. And anyway, long story short, I really don't have that problem. Without further ado, here's some footage of it. One pass of each level of cutting filled up this thing right here with my pretty dense Kentucky bluegrass. Imagine with the, uh, the lowest setting going all, all four passes that I did would fill this up a lot more. But it's really shoved it back in the back of that bag and packed it up pretty good. So <laughs> I would actually say this thing bags better than my Ego mower, surprisingly enough. I think this is what you do. I do not know. I haven't read the manual. Yep. <laughs> exactly as I suspected. Exactly as I suspected. Boom. That goes out. That's really easy, really quick. Wow. I'm 
not at all surprised, but uh, the dethatcher pulled up far less than the scarifier. I mean, it's like uh, <laughs> on this uh, area compared to Hellstrip Part 2, this was like two bags of clippings and stuff with the scarifier over here, which is like three times the size, probably more with the dethatcher, uh, it's, it's just a fraction of, of that. Maybe, maybe if, if I was going to go over the whole thing, maybe a third of a bag. So very interesting.